The Tile Squares Knit Stitch Pattern. Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome back to my channel, Studio Knit. The Tile Squares Pattern creates blocks of stockinette separated vertically with a rib of seed stitch and a horizontal ridge of pearls. This is an easy knit and purl stitch pattern. It's great for beginning knitters. It's a six row repeat and I will be knitting it up for you row by row. And I wanna show you it is not a reversible pattern. So that means on the front side, the right side of our work, that has the textured design, but when we turn it over to the back, the wrong side of the work, does not have an identical pattern. So it is not considered reversible. And this video is for right-handed knitters. If you would like to see the left-handed version, I have a link to that down below. This tile squares texture is included in my free color block scarf pattern. I'll have a link for you as well. You can go get that pattern and make this beautiful colored scarf yourself. As you can see, it looks really great as a scarf. It also would make an adorable baby blanket. And if you like this tile square stitch, please like up this video. Let me know you'd like to see more and make sure to subscribe to my channel, Studio Knit. For your knitting materials, you simply need any yarn along with appropriately sized knitting needles and scissors and a tapestry needle. The written pattern is available totally for free over on my website. I'll have a link for you down below. It also is included in my Knit Stitch Pattern book. It has 50 stitch patterns. It's available both in a physical book form as well as a digital ebook. And you can see I have a full color photo. It has the title, the cast on, the knitting chart if you like to knit from charts as well as directions on how to knit flat and in the round and right now you can get a free five pattern sampler when you join my email list so let's knit it up to begin we are going to be casting on our stitches and this will be the length of your piece you're casting on in multiples of five so cast on five stitches, five stitches, five stitches, however many you would like. And then once you're done, add an additional four stitches onto your needle in order to create this knit stitch pattern. So row one cannot get any easier than this. We are knitting all. So that is the knit stitch all the way across the row from beginning to end, simply knitting. Then we turn our work to the wrong side and we begin with four purl stitches. So the yarn is in the front of our needle and we are purling four stitches. And then in between the asterisks, those little stars, that indicates the pattern repeat. So it is K1, that's knitting one stitch, and then bringing our yarn to the front and we are going to be purling four stitches and we repeat the K1 P4 all the way to the end of the row. Turning our needle back to the right side, the front of our work, row three is knitting all. So again, every single stitch on this row simply is knit and row four is the same as we did on row two. So we begin with those four purl stitches and then we start in to that pattern repeat between those asterisks. It is K1, P4, knitting one, and purling four all the way down the row. Row five, again on the right side of our work, on the front, we are knitting all. And then we have one little change. Once we get to row six, we are going to be knitting this entire row on the wrong side of our work and doing the knit stitch all the way down the row here is what is giving us that horizontal ridge of the bumpy pearl row. So if we look at the front right here, that is giving us that nice 
ridge right there. And I just want to point out that because the majority of this pattern is the stockinette stitch, it does have a tendency to curl up. So lightly blocking it is really helpful, which is what I did for my little sample. And you just knit until you have the length that you desire. And if you would like to change yarn colors on this pattern, I suggest doing so on row one. It will begin the new color right at the top of that ridge and you won't have any pearl dash lines. Again, let me show you here what I did so that it didn't curl up. I added a garter border on this sample. So that's the knit stitch for a couple of rows at the beginning and then two knit stitches at the beginning and the end. I also lightly blocked it. I hope you are inspired to give the tile square knit stitch pattern a try. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you here next time.